in plants the growth is uh, indeterminate indeterminate means uh, unlimited the in the plants generally the growth is uh, unlimited so why it is unlimited so in all organisms the growth is uh, generally the growth is observed but in only plants the growth is indeterminate or unlimited not in the animals here the unlimited growth is observed in plants only so that is due to the meristematic tissues here the meristematic tissues are having the ability to produce the new cells always so the meristems are present in the plant body in different locations so the meristems so meristems are present in the plant body and uh, these meristems are responsible for the continuous growth so in only plants the growth is continuous or indeterminate or unlimited our growth is continuous here if we see the in the plant body here shoot system and root system in the shoot uh, here the shoot apical meristem shoot apical meristem the shoot apical meristem is present in the uh, apex of the shoot and a root apical meristem is present in the uh, root apex root apical portion so these apical meristems in the plant body here different type of uh, meristems are present here apical meristems so based on the location here it is a uh, apical meristem it is apical meristem apical meristem present in the shoot so shoot apical meristem apical meristem is present in the root it is called as a root apical meristem so the meristems are generally having a uh, number of uh, small cells these small cells are having the ability to produce the new cells always so they are undergoing the cell division here the meristematic tissue here very small cells are present compactly arranged no intercellular spaces completely here uh, uh, conspicuous nucleus is present so dense cytoplasm thin cell wall so these are the characteristic features of a uh, uh, meristems so undergoing repeated divisions and this type of meristem is present in different locations so based on the location here two types of meristems are there one is a uh, here apical meristem apical meristem so apical meristems and uh, lateral meristems based on the location the meristems are of two types apical meristem and uh, lateral meristems here apical meristems are again of two types shoot apical meristem shoot apical meristem and uh, root apical meristem so lateral meristems are here the lateral meristems are present in the here uh, in the vascular bundle in the within the vascular bundle the vascular tissues between the vascular tissues phloem and xylem Here the vascular cambium is present. So the vascular cambium means the cambium is nothing but meristematic tissue present between the vascular tissues. So that is called as vascular cambium present in the root root system in the dicot plants mainly, and in the dicot plants uh, vascular cambium is present in the root system and uh, shoot system also. So the vascular cambium it is one type of uh, lateral meristem. and sometimes uh, during the secondary growth some uh, lateral meristems are form so these lateral meristems are here cork cambium here cork cambium and vascular cambium these are the 
lateral meristems. So these lateral meristems are and uh, apical meristems all are involving in the growth. But here the growth is uh, different type. Here uh, linear growth and uh, here transverse growth. Linear growth is nothing but uh, here length wise, height, height wise growth. So and width wise growth. Here the plant is showing the growth uh, here linearly like this. Here the shoot apical meristem is uh, producing the new cells. The new cells are pushed uh, here downwardly and uh, here the growth is taking place uh, like this linearly. Here also linear growth is taking place uh, due to the here uh, apical meristems. But here after some uh, certain period after some vegetative growth here uh, certain period the plant is also showing the growth transversely or width wise. So the width wise growth is due to the vascular cambium. The vascular cambium is producing the new cells uh, sides only, outside and inside. So radial growth, the radial growth is taking place. For example, here it is stem, very young stem, but after a certain period, after five years or ten years, some trees, some plants are showing the secondary growth. So after a certain period, it is a very thick stem. So here the it is showing the growth. Uh, linearly or uh, height wise and width wise also width wise thickness radial growth transverse growth horizontal growth so this type of growth is uh, due to the vascular cambium so here the apical meristems and lateral meristems both are involving in the growth linear growth and uh, transverse growth so the growth is of here two types linear and uh, transverse growth the growth is due to the here meristems. So if the meristems are present in only plants, that's why in the plants the growth is uh, here unlimited. Continuously it is taking place. The growth is taking place. It is producing the new tissues continuously. Unlimited growth or continuous growth, indeterminate growth is observed in the plants. So in plants the growth is uh, taking place uh, throughout the life. It is due to the meristems. Meristems are, as we discussed here, apical meristems. A root apical meristem and a shoot apical meristem. So these root apical meristem and a shoot apical meristem are responsible for the here linear growth. Linear growth. So it is a uh, here mainly the apical meristems are a uh, primary meristems. Uh, meristem, these uh, primary meristems are nothing but uh, present from the beginning, from the starting stage, plant life cycle from the starting stage these are present. So these are involving in the primary growth. So the linear growth is nothing but uh, uh, primary growth. So the primary growth is due to the apical meristems that is leading to the linear growth. So the linear growth is by linear growth our primary growth is by apical meristems and next uh, lateral meristems lateral meristems are present uh, here uh, sides are in the generally the growth is taking place inside and outside transverse growth or radial growth so that is due to the lateral meristems here different type of lateral meristems are there here one is uh, vascular cambium vascular cambium vascular cambium is present in the vascular bundles and uh, cork cambium in stems uh, so there are the lateral meristems these are uh, responsible for the radial growth radial growth or width wise width wise growth or uh, girth wise growth so it is called as secondary growth
primary growth and secondary growth. In the primary plant body, primary growth is taking place due to the meristematic activity, epical meristems. Next, uh, here due to the epical meristems, the linear growth is only taking place, lengthwise growth. Here it is lengthwise growth. So, linear growth. And uh, secondary growth is due to the here uh, lateral meristems. So, that is leading to the radial growth or girthwise growth. And in the plants, uh, the growth is uh, uh, conspicuous and it is very unique, unique character and it is uh, taking place throughout the life cycle. So, it is one important uh, characteristic feature of all living beings. So, it is about uh, here the growth and uh, it is indeterminate in plants or unlimited in plants.